I'm an addict for snitches. I'm an addict for snitches. I'm an addict for What's good, what's good, back up in the building, it's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new episode here at the Sneaker Addict Show. You see what we got right here beside me? We've got the Air Jordan Hair Ones right here. This is an original from 1992. As you can see, it's actually cardboard. You can see the thickness of it. So this is something unique, something different. You're not going to see every day. This isn't just a random poster. This is actual an OG promo. And the crazy thing about this is that I paid like $15 for it, maybe even less. Somewhere around there though, I was driving, going through a town, and I seen a garage sale. This was in front of all the other stuff they were selling. I literally just pulled right over, grabbed this sign. I was like, how much do you want for this? They're like $80. I was like, nah. And then they were like, how about 10 or 15? It was something like that. And I was like, yep, sold. Sometimes you just run into some gems. I mean, this is something rare right here. You're not gonna see an actual sign, you know, an original sign. You could get this poster, of course, and it's a great shot, it's a great poster, but being that it's an old sign from a store, it's pretty cool. If you're a fan of, you know, Michael Jordan. Bugs Bunny too, if you're a fan, I guess. But I got it because, you know, of course the man right there, MJ. Now, let's get into these shoes. They released, you know, before. They weren't as much of a hit as they are now. I think the execution of them releasing them right before Easter was excellent. It's a great Easter shoe, and they flew off the shelves. The material's pretty decent. I wouldn't say it's that, that great, though. When I went to the store to buy them, I looked at the pair, and I randomly do that. I don't do it all the time, but once in a while, I will before I buy it. Because I just, you know, I don't worry about it getting messed up. I never bought a shoe where it was that bad, where I was like nah I don't want these anymore so I just usually just get my size and go and then check them out when I get in the car ran into someone I knew when I went to pick these up and they wanted to see what they looked like so when I was about to check out and I ran into these dudes that I know I showed them my shoe and I was like oh shit you know look at this little stain here so I had the store do a switch with me and give me a different pair because it had this stain around over here and that's not happening because once you start getting dirt on this area of the shoe and then by the toe where it's that light gray it looks terrible that's the one thing that's bad about this colorway it's a great colorway but over here and over here once it gets dirty it's not that easy to clean verse on this white leather right here the white leather you can clean a lot easier than this kind of new buck material in this faint gray that's the one thing that sucks about the shoe. You gotta really be careful. You don't wanna get this dirty right here. Cause if you get it dirty, it's whack. It's a whack look. I mean, just imagine dirt right there. This sneaker has to be clean. It has to stay clean. Some Jordan ones, they look dope when they're, you know, dirty or even aging a little. For instance, like this. I mean, it still looks kind of clean, but you know, if it's a little creased and dirty, it's okay. It looks dope in my opinion. But a shoe like this has to stay clean or else it's not gonna look hot in my opinion. Some will disagree. So as far as the quality, you know, the first pair that I had was kind of whack and this pair is, it's not terrible. It's not amazing though. It's nothing to, you know, rave about and go crazy about. So you can see you've got your Wings logo right there, stitched in. On the back you have your hair, and then your Jumpman, and I actually have the logos right here. So I'll back it up and show you both. I did this on the logo review too. If you want to see that review, definitely check that out. Keep in mind, you can get these up to a size 9.5 for people that are, you know, wanting to get these. Here's a quick look at the toe box. Going up, got your white laces, and you have your hair logo up top with your multicolor hits on the tongue. I don't know if everyone's shoe 
is different like on the sevens where you have different designs i think it's kind of the same on the ones if you know in the comment box please feel free to leave a comment on that if you have more info on that if it's different or if it's the same on every pair or check out your pair right now and do a little comparison maybe and there's a quick comparison of both of them the lowers and the bugs bunnies quick look at the medial side as far as the fit go true to size on these definitely go true to size and there's a look at the outsole there you go with a quick close-up HD look at the shoes. Let me know what you think of these. Do you like them? Do you not like them? How did not? Did you pick them up? If you want to see an on-foot look, keep in mind, I will put that in the description box below. Make sure to check out my podcast I did the other day. I even talk about the Air Jordan 30 that will be coming out, and they had a promo with Bugs Bunny. It was kind of dope. Definitely check out that podcast. I talk about the new phone posits. I talk about Adidas. I talk about a lot of things. So look in that description box and check out that podcast i also um have a ton of reviews a ton of reviews so you know it's so many i just can't think off the top just look in the description box below definitely check that out and if you're looking for these or the lola bunnies i will have more info in the description box to help you out with that on foot look too so definitely check the description box below hit that like button right now if you enjoyed today's episode thank you for watching you keep watching i'll keep filming that's how it's going down all right with that said we out dj dell you know i love you